Yo, what's going on you guys? Sharkbait here and today I'm actually gonna make a video to talk about the good things that I actually think about Fortnite because I made a video talking about all the things that I, about Fortnite that I don't like and I think it's only fair that I actually do one for all the good things, right? So I just would like to start off saying that all the points that I say doesn't have to change your opinion about it. You have, you have your own separate opinion and think whatever you want to think about the game by yourself. Now one thing that I would like to say that they actually do right is listen to the community because a lot of like updates they have changed because of the community and what they were saying about the game, right? Basically, they, people didn't like the double pump, they took it out. Uh, fine, they got rid of the double pumping right. But, I mean, they did change the P90 a bit when people were complaining about it a lot just because the whole mag size and how much damage it did with the whole spam thing. So they did change that, they implemented the uh, the new max system for it which holds 40 bullets instead of 50 and I think it did less damage when you shot someone and um, basically the new stuff that they add every, almost I would say almost every day but it's not really every day but they do not add a lot of stuff almost weekly at least I can say like the new rip system where you can carry your own rips I don't know what it's called because I haven't played that much but I know that a lot of change has happened and um Maybe that's a good thing for you, maybe it's a bad thing, maybe you want to have the OG game. But, um, I mean, maybe for new players it's like fun and exciting so the game doesn't die out. So they do constantly update the games, which is actually kind of, like, fun to explore and see how everything works out. Maybe with new metas and new tricks that you can learn every day. And, um, that would actually make it like a great thing if they kept on doing that. I mean, I would say daily. If they kept on doing it daily, it would be perfect. Because like, new, it would like change the way you play the game, and um, make it like a you can say like new esports type of thing. Because um, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of tournaments in the game, and people use the metas there, as you can see for the all the like Fortnite skirmishes and stuff like that. But um, yeah, if they change the stuff maybe once a week, once every two, three days or so. It's gonna show like a lot of brand new gameplay and showing like showing how you can actually change your game style by every update they do, and they do it constantly. Like I said, so it's not like it's uh, dying. It's probably gonna die out because they're adding a lot of new stuff almost. Like I said, almost every day. <laughs> I keep on repeating myself, I know, but that's like the actual good point because uh, if you see other people's games and developers, see how many updates they do constant, then you'll see that Epic and uh, Fortnite is actually pretty pretty good when it comes to like showing the players what new stuff they can come up with, you know? From, I would say from season 3 all the way to season 5, they added a lot, a lot of stuff, like they went from OG Fortnite to brand new Fortnite and real quick by adding rifts, new guns, new places and they got rid of Tomato Town. So they got rid of Tomato Town and made it not, Tomato Temple or something like that I want to say. I think that's the name of it. I haven't played in, I went there twice so I can't really say much about it. That's a, that's a fun place though. Um, yeah, yeah that's another thing. All the landing zones that people don't go to they're changing it up so people actually go to it. For example, a lucky landing, they haven't done anything about that one. But some people actually go there. Um, Flush Factory, they haven't done anything about that. But Tomato Town, no one used to go to it. And they went with uh, Tomato Temple. They updated that one. Um, what else? And Junk, they added that, uh, that one. What's it called? Like little hangar studio thing. There's a lot of good points that, people, that Epic has added into the game. Which I give him props for, because it takes a lot of work to do that. I mean, I couldn't say because I'm not a developer, but still I can see how it could be a work to do. Especially when a lot of people are depending on that game. Like streamers or regular players, and sometimes like actual singers and stuff like that, like Drake that's playing with Ninja. Or with that controvers controversy that's going on with them. But I'm not going to get into that. Um... And the game has had many hits, broke records, broke a lot of stuff, so yeah, I have to give him props for that. I mean, 
like I said, the constant change in the game is actually sometimes good, sometimes bad, but I mean, maybe sometime later I'll come up with new points, but right now that's all the points that I can say definitely right now by myself. So if you guys would like to see a part two, just make sure to uh, let me know what you guys want me to talk about and actually change and make me see stuff that I, maybe I won't see by myself. And um, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the notifications because I'm going I'm to be posting a lot more soon. I'm not sure. Just give me uh, video ideas in the comment section because that's going to help a lot. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next one.